come through while still maintaining the body down below covered. But more important than all of those things, what if it was hookless up top? And that's exactly what we've got going here. There are no hooks with the shower curtain. This is a hookless shower design. And it's easy, it's quick, and best of all, when this needs to come off, it simply pops off the shower rod like so. When I'm ready to pop it back on, I just pop it right back over the rod and it's right back in place. In addition to all of that, there is a liner. Let me pop my card down. There is a snap out liner. This is the liner that gets all yucky and mildewy, right? So if I could snap this, just this liner out and put it in the washing machine, would that be helpful? Absolutely it would. So this is going to work out beautifully. And can you see my hand through this? You can see my hand here. If I were standing back here, you'd be able to see my face and I could talk and it would also let light through, but I wouldn't be doing this if someone came into the bathroom. Hello, what? Excuse me, what? No, I'd be back here. So you can see through this, but you can't see into the shower and you can't see anything that you should be seeing, right? Now, we have only two color choices available for you. This that I'm showing you is called the pink. Full disclosure, it's more of a coral color. So bear that in mind if you are looking to match uh, some colors in your bathroom. And we also have it for you in the pastel yellow. But only 250 there, and that is not a great image. Um, do we have a better shot? Oh, Marty has a much better shot. Let's go to our guest. There she is. Marty Meister is joining I do. us. And that yellow, uh, pastel yellow, looks much prettier on your bathroom than it does in our laser shot. It does. I'm not even in the bathroom, David. I'm doing a cheat here in my little home studio. But you can see that this is a really beautiful yellow color. And you're right, it was not showing up well on that picture. But it's that, that great, perfect yellow, I think. It's not too bright. It's not too pale. It's really complimentary whether you're going to use it in your own bathroom, you know, the main bathroom, or in the kids' room, or in the guest bathroom. This is a beautiful choice. And you're right, the pink is definitely reading coral. For sure. And but, this and they, is a standard length, is that right, Marty? Yeah, it's a standard length and a standard width. And so this is going to fit in the you know the rod that you already have in your bathroom. And David, I really love how you've covered all the great features of this. You know, I'm holding a typical um, shower curtain, you know, the vinyl shower curtain you would use, and all those nasty rings that I could never put on quite right. I would always have trouble with them. Right. You don't need any of this stuff with hookless because with hookless, we've already got the rings built in. And I love how you demonstrated that. It's so easy to pop it on and off the rod. And this is so easy to, to put up. It's easy to maintain. I think a lot of times our shower curtains, the liners get nasty because we don't take them down and wash them because it's too hard. We've made this so simple that you can just snap it out and wash it more frequently if you want to. Plus it's fabric, so it's going to be really nice whenever you do have to get in the shower and look through the window to help the kids find their lunch money. This is going to feel really nice as opposed to those old vinyl ones. So lots of great features built in. Marty knows that story because she's a mom. Um, now, I am. Yeah, exactly. Now, when you've got this on your tub shower, more than likely you've got your liner inside the tub, right? So the liner goes right. inside the tub and this is outside the shower. So what happens exactly. to that liner that's inside the tub? Because when you're finished with the shower, and it's not easy for me to show it on this uh, rod because it's not a real shower rod. It, the, the shower curtain gets pushed to the side. So what happens when it gets pushed to the side? It all bunches up and then gets wet and moldy. And oh, yeah, that's when the fun starts, right? The right. nasty fun. So hey, then you, you want to take this we out. Also have magnets. Oh, yeah, we, we also have magnets, though, to, to make it, this lie and hang properly, too. But I'm sorry, please go ahead and show that. No, there, you and, you, and you make a good point. There are magnets sewn into the bottom of the liner. So if you are looking to make sure that this holds its shape, that's fine. When it's time for you then to take it off of the shower curtain, there's a little snap here. And you're going to take this off right. the snap and you're going to pop the liner, only the liner if you need to, into the washing machine, right? Yeah, you can wash the whole thing too if you want to. And I noticed um, whenever we were looking at that, David, you could have a good shot that those are vinyl snaps. So there's nothing to rust or get nasty on that shower curtain. These are really well made. They're easy to take up and down. And I also like that when you take the liner out, it's down at eye level. I'm not reaching above my head to take that down. So lots of great really thoughtful care went into the design of these. You know, we started in hospitality where they needed to be able to swap those rooms out quickly. And now you're able to have that same 
benefit in your own home, but we gave you fashion colors. I love this stripe, David. What do you think about the stripe? Oh, the stripe is beautiful. It's got it's a nice design element. It gives an instant pop of design and color and look to your bathroom that you might be missing otherwise because we tend to go a little more solid with towels and whatnot. So why not go with a little bit more designer flair when you're uh, doing your shower curtain? Exactly. And you know what's great about this too? You're adding that element of color into your bathroom, but you didn't have to repaint. You you know you didn't have to remodel. And if you decide you want a different color, you can swap it out and maybe you pick up both and you know have both so you can play with it if you want. But it's a really affordable way to make your bathroom feel refreshed without going to a lot of effort. I think it's just a a wonderful way to keep your bathroom happy because you know we start and end our day in the bathroom. So why not make it pretty so that you feel good about being in there? Exactly, and you want to make sure that that because if you don't can't remember who was in uh, who was president when you uh, bought your last shower curtain, it's probably time for a new one. Oh, it's definitely time then, right? And have you looked at the bottom of that shower liner? Is it all black and yucky and moldy and mildewy and blah, blah, blah. yeah? This is <laughs> going to be an opportunity for you to make sure that it can be washed and laundered and freshened and made perfect for you and your family. You know, bathrooms are an important. In place, but they can be kind of neglected, uh, particularly when it comes to shower curtains because we're rushing, right? We rush into the shower, we rush out of the shower. We don't spend a lot of time in there. We and do. then when you go inside the bathroom, it smells a little musty, and you're like, what, why does it smell musty in here? It's probably your shower curtain, or more importantly, or more specifically, your liner, right? So all That's of this right. happens for you at a time when we're looking to really spruce up and brighten up. And now that holidays are over, maybe it's time to add a little pop of color into that bathroom and really brighten things up and make it very, very nice. Absolutely. And you know, right now our days are still kind of short and dark. So why not make the bathroom feel like spring if it's not, hey, this lets steam out, it lets light in. So great, great features built into the whole thing. Always perfect. Marty, I know you're coming up in the next hour, so stay tuned and stay close, okay? Thank you, David. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Be well. All right, we're going to remind you